Yo, what's up? It's Coach Dave in the house. Do another hitting video for you guys out there. And look, this is a young kid right here. This video is going to definitely help you guys out there that are dealing with dropping the barrel, having a long swing, not going directly to the ball when you hit. You're going to see from this young guy, he really is trying to get it better. He is getting it better. This is why hitting is so difficult because it takes so much discipline to repeat the same action that you just learned and you're trying to get your body to do it. It's very, very tough, especially at a young age. But this young guy, man, he's doing it right. Let's jump into it. All right, well, we're going 50% right here. And I, I, I mean, everybody that can see this swing, I mean, they're like, yeah, this looks pretty good. But I mean, what I'm seeing right off the bat is that after this guy loads, I mean, his stance is money. He's loading, he's got weight transfer, he's striding forward. I like what he's doing, his hands are separated, right from his feet. This is good stuff. But the main problem, the main problem that I see is with this front arm right here. See how this thing is starting to straighten out and the elbow is going in this direction. It's down here. And you see how the elbow is down in this area. We don't want that area. Uh, we don't want the elbow going in that area right there. So as you see, this bat right here is actually gonna start going down. We don't want that for the first move. And now, I mean, if you swing from that position with that angle, I mean, this would be perfect. The barrel is going down behind his body. It's not what we want. We wanna keep that barrel up, you know, at a good angle, basically with the knob pointed towards the catcher. Now, if you load him straight back, you can see me right here. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm demonstrating how to load the hand straight back not do it like that. that this is not what we do we don't do that don't stiffen that front arm and drop that barrel keep that barrel up and load it straight back that's what we want to do and then we want to go directly to the ball directly to the ball barrel to it if you see what i'm saying that's what's up right there that's what we want to get to look it's going right to the ball right to the ball boom through it uh, you guys will soon realize if you guys ever play at a high level or in high school you guys throwing some heat need a direct path to the baseball to be successful at hitting the baseball card. Bottom line, mark it down, write it down. Here we go. Let's do it. And, and I would rather have loading, loading this and then going right to the ball with that barrel, not opening up and, and the barrel still going down and it's the last thing to go to the ball. If you understand what I'm saying. How do we fix that? Maintain the barrel up. Fixing our stance a little bit. Maintaining our stance. Learning how to load our hands straight back. Swinging from that position. Swing from that position, direct path to the ball. Level right to it, level right through it. Stay through it, stay on it, see the ball hit back. You're pulling your shoulder off, but getting into that position that forces you to pull your shoulder off. That all odds are against you. You need your barrel in the zone as long as possible just to sniff the ball sometime. Here's your eyes right here, we're just gonna do your eyes. Here's your eyes, okay, here's your eyes. Now let's, let's get to, so this is right after you've loaded all the way back. You were in your stance, you loaded from your stance, and you got all the way back. Now, you're starting your separation, your weight transfer. Here's what we do. This is how much you're moving your head. Bam. So, it is that much head movement, eye movement. This is definitely gonna make, you, make it harder for you to hit a ball hard. So, the accuracy part of hitting right here, I get weight transfer, I get separation, I get all that good stuff, but you're going to have to worry about accuracy as well, and that means that you can't move your head a lot during your stance, during your load, during your separation or weight transfer. And once you get into the hands back foot down position and you swing, your head doesn't move at all. Don't move your head at all. It's, the only thing it moves is, is on the ball. So, as you're swinging, your head's not moving forward or backwards, you're actually following the ball. Boom. Hold the ball all the way to the barrel, every time. Past time athletics, appreciate you guys. This video right here of Tatis Jr. in slow motion is awesome. Everybody go subscribe to that guy. Go check out his channel. This is your video, dude. I'm just checking it out. When he lands on his front toe, then he does the heel strike. You just saw the rotation. These are millisecond by millisecond. You see what his first move is. It is those hands. Now they have changed angles. Now the barrel went from that position up in this area to here. Man, I mean, if you guys saw what, what kind of plane we're talking about, we're directly towards the baseball. We are directly to the baseball. This is where the barrel is shown to the ball, and you can see the distance between the ball and the barrel right there. And then you got contact. And you can see the hands, the eyes, everything is connected right here. Boom! You see his posture, you see the straight line. 
see the bottom half, you see the back foot rotation, you see the front leg behind it, see how tall he is. This guy is sick. He does this in the major leagues, in the game, consistently. This is one that you guys want to look at, understand it, what we're trying to get to. We are trying to get to this position at contact, during contact, after contact. We are, we are, we are trying to get to this position right here, hands back, foot down. Look at the angle of the back. The one thing in common with every major leaguer out there, what is it? One thing in common, is it their stance? No. Is it their load, the way they load? No. Is it their technique of loading? Is it how they do it? No. Is it the way they weight transfer? Is it the way they get out of their load? Do they all load? No. The one thing that's in common with every Major League Baseball player is their ready to hit position. So I hope you guys learned a lot today. And I just want to sit back and just watch this dude hit. I want to have it on repeat. This is just absolutely insane. I mean, look at that guy, dude. This is just ridiculous. Tatis Jr., hats off to you, brother. Look at the finish right there. I mean, he's almost, I mean, the bat's all the way back behind his back. I mean, this guy's awesome. Guys, peace out. Coach Dave here. Hope you guys subscribe. Hope you guys love the videos. Thanks, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Do something like that. I don't know. Hit me up. Peace.